Bible continues tunaendelea kusoma Biblia na naamini ya kwamba uko pamoja nasi um, I want to for a few minutes introduce if possible uh, the, the all the letters of John um, first letter of John the other is John as it is indicated he is also the author of the gospel of John and both books are about the Lord Jesus and also uh, the eternal life that Jesus came to bring and as he had written in the book of uh, John chapter 20 verses 30 to that one that he was lighting so that uh, men would believe in Jesus. The main theme of the gospel, of the epistle, the first epistle of John, is to uh, highlight the salvation that we have received and also uh, to reveal Jesus, who is also God. When you read the first letter of John, you realize there are common words that are also in the gospel. As you remember, the gospel, in, uh, the, go the gospel of John begins with the word in the beginning. You get it also in the first letter uh, of John. He also mentions witness. He also mentions believe several times and also eternal life uh, as he did in the gospel. He also writes this gospel while he was an old person and therefore you realize that he refers to those he is writing to as the little children. So there were probably a number of generations from the first time that they followed Jesus and started witnessing about him. He also uh, explains in a practical way what it means to fellowship with God and also one another. In this book, he also corrects because by then false teachings had crept in the church and they were denying the incarnation of Christ Jesus. The key verse in this first letter is chapter 5 and verse 13. The second letter of John, he is still the author of the letter. Though it has only one chapter, it is also very rich. The theme of the book is truth and love as commanded by God. These are the two anchors of true Christianity and also we get values of our Christian life from the truth and we know Christ is truth and also the demonstration of love which Christ demonstrated when he came on earth. It is directed or written to, uh, according to the book, to the erect lady Many scholars believe it was a church and others believe it was a certain, probably a certain uh, lady who is not mentioned by name, but probably a lady that was of high esteem. You realize that as you read the book, uh, you learn that truth is revealed in the scriptures through Christ Jesus, who himself is the truth. The key verse is verse 6. When you go to that John, uh, because we shall read all the letters together, when you go to the third John, he is still the author, and now he does not talk about the truth, but the theme is walking in the truth. And it is a personal letter that has been sent to a man that he mentions by name, who was his friend, and is called Gaius. 
he refers to him as a person of notable uh, South Christian living and he says that he is, uh, he is a man of, uh, who is hospitable to the ministers and also to other guests in the church. And therefore, this truth has to be lived and he highlights how truth is demonstrate, demonstrates God in our life and also he highlights the importance of the will of God in our lives to be whole, physically, spiritually, and also outwardly. He also rebukes other leaders in the same church who acted uh, against the truth by deterring uh, the, 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 the Christian character or the Christian living, and he mentions them by name. The key verse in the book is verses I want to believe as we read the letters of John, we shall also refer to the Gospel of John because it is, it is like it is a continuation of the Gospel of John. Nataka tusimame, tumaliza ibada yetu, ata tunapo jipeana kuendelea kutafuta, kumuelewa Kristo Yesu kupitia Bibelia. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa kutupea ibada mzuri na ibada ambayo ni challenging but this is the calling of God for each one of us na ikiwa umekuwa ukitafuta ufanye nini i want to believe that kwamba leo umepata answer you go out and witness about what Christ has done in your life our father and our god we was we are so grateful unto you thank you for what the lord you have enabled us to receive katika service hii siku hiyo ya leo na tunakuomba kama vile ambavyo tumeombewa na sisi wenyewe tumeomba ya kwamba wiki hii utusaidie na utuwezeshe maana ni kushuhudia tu yale ambao umetutendea na uzuri wako ambao tumeupokea na ukweli ni ya kwamba tunaweza sema kama Daudi tuarike wengine tuwaambie come and see and taste that the Lord is good and i pray that we shall not shy off we shall not even withhold, O oh God, ourselves, uh, um, our God, from uh, declaring this goodness to others. To kingia katika ofisi zetu, tunapo kuwa na jamii zetu, tunapo tunapo tembea na kukutana na marafiki, ata tunapo ungea mambo mengine, tuwezeshe, tunaomba, na penye tumelemewa kama vile tumetubu, tunajua ya kwamba utatuwezesha. Every opportunity that you shall create for us. I pray that, Lord, we shall be faithful stewards of the things that you have deposited in our lives. We thank you and we bless you. It is well with us this week, O oh God. Atika jina la Yesu, na tunaomba ya kwamba, ata tunapofanya kazi za mikono yetu, zi barikiwa. And, Lord, the works of our hearts this week shall be profitable to bring glory to your name. For that is your will, it is your joy, it is your pressure even to give us the things of the kingdom. And now I bless your people as they go home. Thank you, Lord. I pray that you shall bless them, you shall go ahead of them. And thank you for the divine protection that, Lord, Eddie, you have provided for the weak because you are a caring father. For every anxiety and cares, Lord, that, Father, they would get this week, may they cast them to you because you care for them. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name.